Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Sloyer. I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix, and today we're going to be sharing some pretty exciting news today. Um, the docs for actually Bluemix are now open source on GitHub. Yay! So what does that mean? That actually means you can actually uh, submit a fix if you see an error in the docs, which is pretty cool, or if you see something that needs improvement. The docs aren't perfect, we know that, and we'd love your help to actually make them better. So um, we're going to be talking about today how to actually submit a fix and kind of the process for getting it accepted and live back into Bluemix. So the process, the way it kind of works, is you will see um, on, a, on a docs page, you'll see a little button in the right, right top hand corner that says edit in GitHub. So you would click that button, it'll take you to a page on GitHub and bring you to the, actually the markdown for the docs. On that page, you can actually uh, fork the repo and then make your changes, submit a PR, a pull request back to uh, the Bluemix team. Once the pull request is received, uh, the Bluemix team, they'll review the pull request and uh, give you any feedback or comments they think they need to be addressed. And then, or if it looks great, they'll actually go ahead and accept the pull request. And within about an hour or so, it'll actually be live in production uh, in all the instances of Bluemix around the world. Pretty cool. So uh, if you want to submit a fix, let's go through how the process would actually work and how you would do it. So first, we actually need to go to Bluemix. So in our browser, we'll go to Bluemix.net. In the top right-hand corner, there'll be a button that says Docs. We'll go ahead and click on that. So let's pretend you're actually reading through the Docs and you're, you're, you find an issue with something. Let's go look at uh, Compute. Let's go look at Cloud Foundry apps. Uh, let's say I'm interested in using community, community build packs. Pretty cool. So um, up here in the top right hand corner, we'll see this button that says edit in GitHub. This is actually new. Um, so if the page doesn't actually have this edit in, edit in GitHub button up here, you can actually click this feedback button over here and uh, click on specific feedback and share um, and click on the click up here in the top and you can share uh, some feedback with uh, the Bluemix product managers about uh, that you'd like to see the docs for this on GitHub. So please share that with us. If there's not that button there, please share your feedback with us that you'd love to see that. But if this button is here, we can go ahead and click it. It'll take us to the, actually the source for this particular file on GitHub. So um, I, I'm not signed into GitHub. We're going to kind of pretend I don't have a GitHub account. But if you are signed into GitHub, that's great. Um, but you'll see this little edit button over here. It's grayed out right now. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. I have a, a, a just a kind of a test account that I use for this type of stuff, so I'll go ahead and use that. So go ahead and log in. It'll bring me back to this page. So over here on the right hand side, we're going to click this button that does this little pencil icon. So basically what it's going to do is fork this project for us to our own repo and allow us to start making some changes to it. So we'll go ahead and click this button. So up here at the top, it actually uh, it says we've created a fork for you for this project. So that means I now have my own copy on GitHub and I can edit these things. So let's go back to this doc and try to find an error with it. Let's see. Um, let's just make up something to submit here. So let's just change the submission date. So we'll say last updated today's date. So basically, all you have to do is just make a little change here. Um, you can actually preview the changes. This is actually straight up markdown, so you can preview the changes. Click on edit and then preview up at the top so you can see the changes live. See how they look, roughly look. Um, and then go back to edit file. So to scroll down here to the bottom, it's best to actually put a pretty descriptive change here. So um, I'll, I'll the first part you just put like a brief description of a change date and an optional extended description, it's best to write something really why you did this. So change the date because this is a video I'm making and this isn't a real change. So basically, all that's all you have to do. Then click pr propose file change. At this point, it's going to bring you to a page that's going to show um, that you need to create a pull request. So the pull request is kind of the way that GitHub works to actually get uh, changes to go back and forth between projects. All you need to do is just click create pull request now. And they'll bring you to a page since we actually typed in a pretty descriptive change reason earlier. All we need to do again is create click create pull request. 
So uh, this actually creates a pull request. Uh, what this means is you're proposing a change to the Bluemix docs, and now someone from the Bluemix team would actually go and review this. So I'll go ahead and switch gears, and I'll, I'll pretend like I'm someone from the Bluemix team now and show you uh, the kind of the review cycle for this. So I'm logged in with my real Bluemix, my, my real GitHub account, and um, I can go to pull request here and see there's one new one. And great, this is the one I just submitted a second ago from my, my test account. So I'll go ahead and go review it. Okay, change the date. Okay, change the date because of making a video. Okay, that isn't a real change. So I probably would not want to merge this change. So if, I, if, if this was a real change, I'd probably go ahead and click merge re pull request. So I'm just going to type in something here so no one else merged this. Negative one, this is a fake change for a video I'm making. I'll go ahead and close this change and, and, and not accept it. So I just went ahead and closed this change. But that's roughly how the review cycle will work. After that, the change would actually come back to uh, Bluemix and it would be live within an hour. So today we went through how to actually submit a, a change or correct an error in the, the docs for Bluemix. The docs can only be better, made better with you. So we need really need your help to be submitting uh, pull requests to fix some errors in the docs and also to make them better. We love your help. Um, in the video coming up next week, I'm going to go through how to actually make your second change in the docs. And um, that requires a little bit of a little extra work. But once you get that set up, it's super easy. It's just regular Git stuff. But we're going to go through it make it super simple for you. I uh, love your feedback on this video. Leave a comment below or follow me on Twitter at Jace Lawyer. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.